It's Jackie Field Reporter, Mark with Sports, Sarah, our own newscaster, Jackie Field Reporter, Caitlin Entertainment, Megan Newscaster, Natalie with the weather. This is YMCA Camp Biggersall's news team at 7. Good evening and welcome to Camp Biggersall News, Super 7 at 7. I'm Megan. And I'm Sarah. As part of our space theme, we start tonight with a special report, our own field reporter, Jackie. Jackie? <laughs> My name is Vincent Basio and it took me about only 10 minutes to build this hat. And I got these from these glass, these cool glasses that had eyeballs in them. I just took off. I built it all last night. Right. So you tell us a little about your alien hat? Yeah, my alien hat, I found it in a crash once. And it allows me to hear uh, other people's thoughts. But uh, it only works if it's on someone else's head. So right now, I can only feel my thoughts. It tastes like purple. There you have it. Back to you guys. Let's go to Jackie with a special interview with Camp Director Tony. Hi, Tony. How are you? Well, I have a few questions for you. First of all, what do you... What camp value do you hold on to the most? That's a very good question. I, uh, I like all of our camp values is caring, honesty, respect, and responsibility. But the value I find myself talking most about is respect. I think that all the other values can be incorporated in respect. I think that when you have respect for somebody, you care for them, you're responsible for their well-being, and it's important to be honest with them. Okay. That's very interesting. And second of all, um, what do you think the camp will look like in five to ten years? That's a very good question. You know, right now we're celebrating 50 years of camp here at Camp Ingersoll, and we have a, we're kicking off a brand new campaign to build a more formal gathering place up at the flag area. You know, right now all the campers come and they sit in the grass, and you know we still have a good time. We do our thing, but it'd be so much nicer to have everybody uh, to be able to sit on some nice benches and have a stage to do our camp songs and really set the tone for the day. We also would like to start to do some renovations of some of the more traditional areas of camp, like the blacktop and some of our uh, more key pieces of uh, camp down below, like the Longhouse and Corbin and nature buildings and stuff like that. So we, I would hope that in five to ten years that all those things are all done and that camp will be uh, in tip-top shape. Well, I'm sure that would be a great place for little kids to go to camp. Thank you for your time, Tony. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jackie. Let's go to our sports reporter, Mark, with the play of the week. Good evening, sports fans. Today at Camp Ingersoll, I had the privilege of seeing by far one of the most amazing drives of the week. Let's cut to the footage to check it out. Camp director Tony was taken to the hospital with minor bumps and bruises and a severe concussion. We wish him a speedy recovery and we'll keep him in our thoughts and prayers. Back to you. Thanks, Mark. What an amazing swing. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Camp Ingersoll proudly presents The Shrinking Ray. 
Now, think about all the amazing adventures you could have that you've always dreamed of. It's now possible to hang out with the Smurfs and Smurf it up. Or maybe you'd rather be chased by your neighbor's cat. Or maybe even your neighbor's dog. The options are endless with a shrinking ring. Just three easy payments of $5,000 each, and the shrinking ray can be yours. The shrinking ray, my camping song. Here's the viral video of the week provided by Music Factory and Fort Building. Thanks, Natalie. Let's go to our own culture man himself, George, for a very special report. Classy counselor with George. Thanks, guys. This is George Fillon here at the Out of This World Carnival. There's some messages going around here that E.T. and Chewbacca have shown up for these special events. I'd like you to follow me along as we travel through to some of these great games that are going on and have a little fun along the way. Come on, let's go. There are so many games going on from disc toss to intergalactic pong. I felt like it was my time to take a try at these games. I did a disc throw. Perfect. Come on, give me some. Bam. I did a dart toss. I even participated in the galactic donut eating and I used my canine teeth to devour the donut but then the worst happened a piece fell on the ground 10 second rule even star fishing and one lucky person caught one right when I was there hey, it's a better girls <laughs> after careful consideration I decided to pass on this one I played a couple more games but decided to move on to the more unique booths and first up was getting a really cool tattoo it was painful but I thought I picked the best one, a bear with a skirt riding on a bicycle. I even got my face painted. I almost did the mystery box, but decided to pass on this one too. Get it out, get it out, get it out! Parents night was truly out of this world. This is George Seelan reporting for YMCA Camping or Soul News. Parents night was really out of this world. Thanks, George. Let's go to Jason with our top five camp moments of the week. Number five. Number three. Oh, that's good. Ready, watch out. Oh, there we go. Top, wow. top, top five. Number two. Number one. Well, that ends this week's newscast. I'm Sarah. And I'm Megan. See you next week on Super 7 at 7. Good night. Did it work? And it allows me to uh, hear people's thoughts. The only problem is... <laughs> Michael! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. No, no, no. Let's go. Let's go. We are stealing the camera, and no one knows. Okay, okay.